Hi everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome to Titanic Demo 401 Update 2.0. This is the latest and largest update containing 50% of the Titanic. That's a whole lot of Titanic. We're gonna jump in, have a look around, see what's going on. So, without any more stalling, let's begin. Welcome to the game and welcome back to Titanic. I do have some information from the developers of the game that they've asked to pass on to your fine selves. Demo 401 contains 50% of the Titanic and is the largest release to date. Development continues on a full experience called Titanic Project 401, which will expand upon old honor and glory assets and add special features, including, but are not limited to, historical features, queen sound and photographs, accessibility colors, what star testimony, sunset, nighttime settings, VR compatibility, for controller support and quality of improvements. The goal of Titanic Project 401 is to tell Titanic's story like never before, the final version of which will be released on Steam when ready. Titanic on and Glory is still under development by a different team and still aims to recreate 100% of Titanic in unprecedented details. So there you go. That said, let's get to it. Oh, I've got to set this map of all the areas we can explore. I'm personally more interested in here, the engine room. I'm reluctant to kind of cover old stuff that we've already covered in the past. I can imagine us doing a couple of videos on this, but I kind of want to go to less trodden areas that we've not really done very much of in the past. So let's, let's get that happening. Oh, can I get in? Hang on. While we're here. Oh, that's beautiful. Yo, I got the god rays coming through the window. That's really nice. Like this room historically kind of has always kind of felt kind of just cold and metally and stuff. But I don't know, for the first time ever, that water looks really inviting. This is cool. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's get back to mission. You know, off the top of my head, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get into the engine rooms. My mind goes back to adventure out of time and entering via Penny Pringles kind of area. But I'm sure we can work it out. I'm sure we can get there. Oh, well, did, got there. <laughs> I did it. Do, oh, the, really? It's just bars? Let's get a little look. Yo, this is my very first time. Oh, they're even moving. I see signs of life down there. This is my first time exploring such areas. Yo, these are skinny ladders. Oh, we're going down. Don't tumble. Yo! Let's go straight to the bottom. Oh, we've got some chainage. Oh, the whole look, but don't touch things back. So you got, I guess, the main board there. That's mesmerizing. Can we get a better look at them? Oh, oh we've got a little telephone thing over here. Hi. Bridge. How's it going? Oh, can I climb up on here? Oh, we absolutely can. And we absolutely are. Yo! <laughs> that is so satisfying to finally, like, oh, we've got a new area. We've got the engines. The engines are running. Like, this is awesome. Just don't fall into it, because that would be a bad. Okay, well, that's all we can really do down here just now. Unless I find a way to break the game. There's always time for that. Head back up a little bit, because there's some forward. Oh, hang on, we can go on here. No, I, oh, oh, yes, no, oh. I can crouch. That is freaking cool. We could we can make some really cool stuff with this. Maybe we could try to like, recreate some Titanic movie scenes. I'm stepping forwards a bit more. Ah, yes, the old plank word deterrence. You win this time, blank of wood deterrent. And that's as far forward as we go. So, of course, we've got the skylight directly above us that brings in some fresh air to the old space and it brings in some natural sunlight, of which there would be none of. There's no windows down here. But to be fair, it isn't as kind of like janky and kind of grimy or disgusting as one might have thought. Although, it is a brand new ship in this instance, so maybe give it time to get a bit grubby. I've just noticed the watertight door's closed. Foreshadowing! Let's kind of follow our nose and see where we end up. Oh, okay, well, we've ended up in here, everybody. Oh, boxes. So we can go up or down? Oh, oh, oh. Let's go up and then go down. The plank of wood of thou shalt not pass has returned. There's no going up. But we've got a bit of machinery there. I have no idea what it is. Looks like a motor of some sort. Uh, what's what's the time I could have told you? Oh, there's an electrical shit. Oh, that was an electrical switchboard, isn't it? There was once a time I could tell you what every single nook and cranny was on this vessel, but you know what? It's like riding a bike. If you don't ride it often enough, it explodes and then you don't remember how to build it again. Oh, that's, there's a bucket blocking my way even further down. Oh, well, we're in the turbine room. So behind that wall, you've got your triple expansion engines. The steam comes in from your boilers. You've got your high, medium, low pressure. Get to the end of the cycle, and there's leftover low pressure stuff. It all comes into here. 
and it goes into the turbines, and the turbines will power the center screw and other things. Yo, let me let me climb on this. I want to cut the porthole. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I see third class come in. That'll be the second class stairwell behind that door. And oh, it, it is, it is, it is. We'll get there in a minute. I kind of want to explore more third class. The cargo hatch here, so we are well, well and truly in the uh, the aft well deck area now. Ah, yes. Very iconic and symbolic, the old big old stairwells here. How high can we go? Can we get all the way to the tippy top? Let's have a little go. Yes, we can! And the doors are wide open, and we're on the aft well deck. Yo, look at that view! Now that's a nice view. I'm a happy sausage. I'm enjoying myself. Obviously, over the years, we've played this many times, and many different variants and versions, and all the sorts. Even at times dabbling in VR. I'm interested to see how they will be bringing VR into Project 401. This is Demo 401. Of this will become Project 401. Not to be confused with Honor and Glory. That is an entirely different project. I slipped and fell. Bah! Considering it's, it's third class and all that jazz. I don't know, it's got some of the best views in my opinion. I've been on cruise ships many times. I've sailed around and to be fair, I, I like going to the back of the boat and you look at the wake of the ship. It's like the highway of the oceans. You've got great views, super unobstructed. What I really like about Titanic and White Star in general is their, their symmetry. There's something so pleasing about all the symmetry going on. Even when it gets a bit messy with all the, the gibbons and the wirings and stuff, it's like an organized mess, you know? It just, it just, it just do be good. It just do be good. There's my English of today. I right, let's jump into here. Oh, hang on. Before we jump into there, let's jump into here right quick. Look at this. Ooh. Now that is a fancy pants of a room. What's going on? What's happening? What's happening over here? Free lads tobacco? See, second class on Titanic, they had it pretty cushy as well. You have to remember second class was comparable to the first class on other ships. So as you might be able to discern from the cigarettes and the tobacco, this is the second class smoking room. Oh, what is this? Maxwell's mixture. Mmm, tasty. With the spittoons on the floor. <laughs> For a long time, like when I was a, a young Spammels, kind of first getting to know the Titanic, and I had my very first kind of like model Titanic kits. I was always curious at kind of what this room is. It's, it's a stairwell. It's a stairwell. <laughs> Of course, the aft mast or the, the main mast. It's, it's, that's always kind of confused my brain. I believe that's called the main mast. The one at the front is the foremast or something. I don't know, but this is the main, even though it's at the back. Right? Am I being a dummy here? Yep, I'm. I'm right. Main mast, right there. Ah! -ha 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 -ha. But there's that photograph somewhere, right? Where there's like a band playing. Oh no, it'd be down here, wouldn't it? It'd be like just here, right? Yeah, there's the piano for the band. Band setting up shop in here, jamming away. For by modern standards, it's a stairwell. Like, you wouldn't really want to linger on a stairwell. You want to get to those lovely public rooms and stuff. But no, they use all the space they can here. Although, <laughs> White Star's like, dedication to symmetry, like there will be a door in the middle. But sir, the main mast is in the middle. I don't care, don't want to hear it. The main mast and the door shall be in the middle. We could put two doors on the left and on the right and offset it. No, one door in the middle. I believe Britannic offset the doors to the, the I think they put double doors in on the left and the right. So welcome to the second class lounge, everybody. All right, back in my ocean liner memorabilia days, I, uh, I enjoyed collecting paperwork and stuff. I've got many pieces of paper exactly like this for other ships, not for Titanic. With this paper, it's quite special. If you hold it up to the light, there'll be a watermark of a big old star in the middle of the page. Quite fancy pants, really. A lost art, having fancy paper nowadays. Yes, a lost art indeed. So this is a, a chill, cozy, relaxing place place. Again, second class, but this is really, really nice. A whole library of books. We've got a chess set over here, and even these seats right here. Look at this. View out onto the old promenade. You gotta think, there's no YouTube back in 1912. There's no Wi-Fi. Haven't even got 3G. Yeah, they're not sat in their chairs playing on their phones, hitting up WhatsApp or whatnot. No. <laughs> what are they doing for fun? They're talking to each other. I know. Sounds horrible. They're reading books. Oh my god, sounds even more horrible. 
Oh my god. They're writing, maybe drawing, playing cards, doing all the old timey stuff before the internet changed the whole world. Oh yeah, we got some paperwork here. Look at this. Vintage Digital Revival. Royal United States Developers. Project 401. 50% of Titanic. Over 150 unique spaces. Unrivaled detail. New gameplay features. Will be available on Steam. Date to be announced. Right, I want to check out this fiddly around the funnel casing and go all the way down kind of to the boiler rooms and stuff, we can go to the steward's lavatory. I'm in. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Lavatory time. Anybody wanna, wanna go before we go down? Because there's no, there's no coming back, I'm not gonna stop again. I remember in like a super, super early like trailer for Lost in the, the, the Darkness or something, there was like flushing toilets and it was like, look at this, in our game you can flush toilets and we was like, oh my God. God, and psh, mine's exploded. Mm, we've got a room open here. What's happening? This is not third class. Wait, where am I? This is a fancy pants looking kind of room. Oh, this is a crew cabin for the Master at Arms. This is where Jack would have been chained up with the porthole definitely there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Boiler room number six. We're going in. Now, we've seen this boiler room in previous demos, but I'm hoping there's something a little different. And I don't mean a picture of me on. Oh, yeah, this is different. See, this is. Yeah, we're inside the funnel casing. That is the uh, uptake from uh, one of the funnels. Well, foot funnel number one. That's such a weird perspective to see it from here and see how it's kind of got this uh, reinforcing and strengthening. That's kind of geeky cool, you have to admit. And we're back in the fiddly. If I stand still, you can see the top of the funnel up there. It kind of feels like wasted space a little bit, but I guess it's not. I guess it serves a function. Filth is about to happen. Can we go down here? Yeah, we can. Look at this. Boop. Right, where's the ruby at? Wait, hang on, I'm actually in here? I didn't actually think I'd be able to get inside of here. I'm inside a coal bunker. And there's a smoldering fire in here. Okay, that's kind of epic and cool. And these textures are photo real, what the hell? Okay, so yeah, boiler room, doing bordery stuff. We can squeeze between the boilers. That seems like nightmare fuel to me, but I guess we can do it. There's a Britannic documentary, I forget which one it's called, but they were going deep inside the wreck and I, a diver was in the uh, boiler room and he was doing this. He was coming between some boilers, but there was literally a wheelbarrow just like that blocking the way halfway through. You might think, just move the wheelbarrow. It was big, scary, dangerous, and they didn't, and that's as far as he got. This is such a weird... Just the shape of the tunnel, it feels so alien compared to how square everything else is on this ship. Like, it's a weird shaped tunnel. Alright, so we got these stairwells coming up. Fireman stairwells, so we're gonna be in the bowels of the ship at this point. This way to G deck. Oh, cargo. We and we're in. Okay, be careful not to fall down there. There's a bit of a fall. But they really pack it all in. So I'm not aware of any Easter eggs in this demo. There were a lot of fun things they did in previous ones, but I feel like the time for a little fun in games might be somewhat over. And time just to kind of get down to brass tacks. That said, we do have the poster and the smoldering fire, so there is definitely nods. But the likes of the Rubaiyat and stuff like that, I doubt we'll see them in the game. Maybe? Who knows? Hey, where are we going? What are we doing? Let's go back to the tippy top. Tippy tippy top. What is this? Oh my god. And then we are back. We're not back. Oh, well, we're in, oh, okay, we're under the forecastle. So out this door is not the first class promenade. Hang on, let's go out here. I'm, I'm gonna show you where we are, okay? See how oh, apparently we're in there. That, oh, hi, I got a lot cleaner. No, 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 no. So we're underneath there. That's the forecastle or the forecastle deck. We are underneath of it. Right, we're stepping in from the well deck. So we, well, into here and then duck a right and around this dog corner. Yo, can we actually, oh, we can go up. Crow's nest, everybody. We're going up. Yo. <laughs> we're actually up here. Oh, I want to ring the bell. Ding dong, ding dong. What a hecking view! I wouldn't mind being a lookout to give me a nice book to read for a hot minute or two. This is awesome. I wasn't expecting to come up here. Alright, so back out. 
into here. Oh, we've got a galley area. Look at all those plates and cookery bits and bobs. Look at this. This would have been like some proper hardcore stuff back then. This isn't your cheap one of the mill stuff. They're baking things. Is that bread or a ginormous potato? So I imagine this galley is to serve the crew. This, this is not going to be large enough to serve third class. The cargo hatch. Oh, oh I can climb up. Um, should I? Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Sky. I can't go any higher up. That's upsetting. Well, there's a ladder here, but I think I'm going to fall. Can I, can I climb this? And no. Oh, no. No. Oh, pff, pff. Ah! <laughs> Don't fall down there again. Uh, that was a silly, silly. That's a silly, silly. Right, but what's super interesting is this area up here. I don't remember if this has been accessible in other demos or not. I can't remember. 100% one of the lesser traveled areas of the ship. Look at all this deck equipment under here. Because that's what it is. This is deck equipment. All those, well, capstans above and stuff like that. They're connected up to these. They're all connected up. And you've got winches and cable-y things and stuff. Look at this big old thing here. So, that's connected to the Dehorsia there. See? Whoop. So what happens here is you're going to connect up to that cable, yank it back up on deck, connect that to the auxiliary anchor, connect the auxiliary anchor to the crane, swing it overboard, drop it down, boom! You've now deployed your auxiliary anchor. So if I orientate myself this way, so I'm looking back at the main ship, so that'd be a capstan and a capstan. The anchor chains will be kind of going along the inner side of them, so these be for the windlasses which are gonna pull up and down your anchor chain so whenever they want to operate the anchor they're gonna power this bad boy up and then they can operate these windlasses to raise and lower the anchors okay we've got a hatchway here going down Boop. all right looking at the deck plans this is the boatswain's store so i guess boatswains store things in here and then down oh i can see further down but i can't go further down Okay, I can just fly here. Right, well, how to wrap up our tour of the ship. Look at that view. Mm. Oh, oh, very important. It's the most important thing in the whole world. I've started a second channel it's called Spammels Extra. I really need your help. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this, then I need your help and support. See, I'm moving all the horror games and indie variety games to a second channel so that this channel, the main channel, can focus more on Titanic and other ship affairs. So, I need your help to get into the YouTube Partner Program on the second channel. So, if you could please check out the link in the pinned comments in the video description for Spamble's Extra, please click subscribe. Even if you're not going to watch anything, please just hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 1,000 subs so that we can join the YouTube partner program on that second channel. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video. Was there a part of the ship that you was really hoping I'd go visit and I didn't? Well, oh, let me know. Titanic is back. I love your faces. Thank you for watching and goodbye.